Hi everyone, I'm so thrilled to be back. I have to send my my sincerest love and apologies that I've been away for a few days prioritizing family and other work things. Um, but I'm back now and I'm really hoping to be back as much as possible though. Uh, I may not be able to be every day, but I'm gonna try my very best because this truly and you all truly bring me such joy and happiness. So I, I love doing this and I love being with you. So hopefully I can be here just about every night, but I may have to skip some. So tonight we are finishing up with our invertebrates. We've talked about insects with six legs and three body parts and two antenna and sometimes wings. We've talked about arachnids with two body parts and eight legs and two pitta palps. And tonight, we're gonna meet a different type of an invertebrate, but I also brought back some encore invertebrates. So I brought back an arachnid and I brought back an insect because I figured what we can do is really be entomologists, study invertebrates and compare them, see what makes them special or different. So we're gonna do that. But before we do that, I also promised we would finish our camouflage book. by Karen Brown and Wesley Robbins. Now I remember we were on that page that looked like those beautiful orchid flowers. Remember I had something special to tell you about that. So let's see if we can find the page and start again. Oh, here we are. What beautiful orchid flowers. Guess what? One of them is really an insect. Can you spot it? No, oh, can you? Let's see, let's get my flashlight ready. It died a little bit ago, so hopefully it lasts the whole story. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Whoa, is that an abdomen? I wonder, and oh, are those some legs? What could that be? Let's see. The orchid mantis looks just like a flower. It is pink and white and four of its six legs are shaped like petals. Ah, this clever disguise helps to keep it safe. Wow. Now, remember I said I had something special? If you've ever been to a Nature Heroes program, I often have orchid mantids that I keep and bring to programs. I don't have any now though, unfortunately, because actually they only live about eight, eight months. So I'm hoping this summer I can have some more to bring to programs and show you. We'll have to wait and see. Here we go. It's easy to mistake a Malayan leaf frog for fallen leaves. How many frogs can you see? What? Frogs? I don't see any frogs. Silly book. I don't know. Let's see. Let's look closer. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, whoa, is that an eye? <gasps> is that a nose? Wow, is anything over anywhere else? Let's see, let's see. Oh, whoa, uh oh, what is that? Are those eyes on the top? You remember your amphibian facts? Let's see. <gasps> yeah, there are two. These horned frogs, see their eyes on top, have skin that is folded to look like a leaf. It's the perfect disguise for hiding on the forest floor. <gasps> Something wants to trap this fly. You see the fly? Burr, burr. Can you see what it is? Why do you think I want to trap a fly? Hmm. I had some animals that ate insects. I wonder if you Oh, 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 uh oh. Is that an eye? <gasps> burr, burr. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Let's see. Slurp. This creeping green chameleon is the same color as the leaves. It has a long, sticky tongue that it flicks out to catch insects. That's a reptile. 
scales and shed skin and ectothermic. All right, you ready? Whew. A herd of zebras race through the African plain. A lion watches them. Do you know why they all run together? Hmm. I wonder if this one has a lighty light thing. Let's see. Oh, it does, it does. So we know they're zebras. But look, when they're all together, look at that cool pattern and crazy shapes they're making. All right, let's see if we can kind of pinpoint where like one individual may be. Let's see. Burp, burp, burp. See this one zebra? Let's see if we can do this one. There we go. There's a head. You see this one? There's a head. One zebra. Wow, let's see. So this is what happens. Trot! The zebras run together in a group to trick the lion. It cannot see only one zebra among so many stripes. So it leaves the herd alone. Look, it's hard to tell where one zebra starts and one zebra stops. I think we I think we'll be able to finish. Let's say her, her, her. Yeah, I think we I think we can do. We can do. Maybe a little longer today, but we'll do it. On a cold, snowy day, three furry lemmings are searching for food. Who is watching them? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Legs. Let's see. Bark. It's an Arctic fox. Its long fur grows thick and white in the winter to keep it warm and hide it in the snow. In summer, its coat is thin and brown. Wow, camouflage for two seasons. Wow. Okay. A very strange creature with eight legs is resting on a sandy seabed. Can you see what it is? Eight legs? Is it an arachnid? Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. there's some tentacly like legs. Hmm. Hmm. Slither. It's a blue ringed octopus. It can change the color of its skin to match the seabed. When it is frightened, blue rings flash on its body. The flashes tell other animals that it is poisonous. So, you think it's an arachnid? It's got eight legs, but I don't know. I don't see any pedipalps. He certainly doesn't look like he has a hard exoskeleton. A tiny group. A group of tiny pygmy seahorses swim past a tangle of pink coral. How many can you see? Wow, there's seahorses in this picture. Let's see if we can see some. But, oh, there's that one there. Let's see. Oh, right there, look. Let's see. Wow. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. And what about, oh, something down here. Let's see. Six! The seahorses look just like the coral they live on. To stop themselves floating away, they grip the coral with their strong curled tails. Let's see. Burr, burr. Okay, two more. We can do it. We can do it! A small hermit crab scuttles across the sand. It has no shell of its own, but has borrowed an empty shell to live in. Who is looking at the crab? There's someone looking at the crab? Get out of here. Oh, oh, that's something looks big. Oh, nope, what's that? A tail. If that's a tail, where's the head? Where's the, oh, are those eyes? On top? What? Flat. A beady-eyed flatfish called a place has buried itself in the sand. First, it changed color to match the seabed. Then it shook its fins to throw sand all over its body. I like a flounder. I wonder if they're related. I don't really know. But eyes on top. Is that guy an amphibian? I don't know. 
Doesn't doesn't look like wet slimy skin. Looks like kind of rough, dry skin. And I don't know if he I don't know if he breathes through his skin. I don't know if he could do that with all the sand. Okay. One of us people can use camouflage too. Wearing green clothes patterned in green and gray and brown is a great disguise for nature watchers. Stay quiet, still and hidden, and you might see animals close. Oh, that's it. We did it. Ah, we made it through the book. We made it through the book. Okay, now let's meet our last invertebrate. Now, this guy has a very silly name. It's not an insect. So you can say, not an insect. He's not an arachnid. Because I'm going to show you why. I'm going to bring him out. He's moving around, so that's great. Because look at that. Can you see? Oh, I see two antennae. Do you see him feeling around with his antenna? Look at that. This guy is called an ivory millipede. Yeah, these guys actually can be found kind of in Florida. And ow, ow, he's, yeah, he's nibbling on my hand. I think he thinks he's digging down. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. But look, what's really cool is do you see? It's going to be hard to see. Let's see if I can get it nice and close. Do you see? There we go. Six legs? Look, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, look at them all moving like a wave. Eight, nine, ten. I can't count them all. There's too many. Too many. And what about body parts? How many body parts do we see? Let's see. I see. Oh, every one of those little black lines is kind of a new body part. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, too, too many to count. Too many body parts. Yeah. So this millipede is not an insect because he's got way more than six legs and not even an arachnid because he has way more than eight legs. But he does have two antennae. And just like the other two, he does have that hard exoskeleton. But what makes this guy special, and I like to call him a diplopod. Can you say that? Diplopod. Diplopods have two legs on each body part. Ouch, you're nibbling my hand. Each little body part. So two legs for each body part. Two sets of legs for each body part. So one, two on this side and one, two on that side. Pretty cool, huh? So diplopods have two antenna. They have exos exoskeletons and they have two sets of legs on each body part. I don't know that we're going to do a song about that because I don't want to make that into a cool song, but we can just say diplopods, diplopods have two antenna, diplopods, diplopods have an exoskeleton, diplopods, diplopods have two legs on each side of their body parts. I don't know, whatever. So this guy's cool. This ivory millipede, this diplopod, and I have a few others. We'll see if I can find them. They like to dig. I have some scarlet millipedes that are red. I have something called a bumblebee millipede that's kind of yellow, but they like to dig, so it might take me a second. Here's another ivory. This one's all curled up. See this one? He's got a little bit more, let's see, a little bit more white to him than the other one. Oh, he's already caught up in things. Burp, burp, burp. So there's two ivories. Oh, here they come. They're gonna wanna nibble all over my hand. And it's not very clear. Okay, Let's see if I can find bumblebees or scarlets. Burp, 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 burp. Oh man, I might have to do some serious digging in here. Let me do it very carefully. Do you ever go digging when you're outside and looking for invertebrates? It's one of my favorite things to do, to take a magnifying glass, maybe a little bug catcher. And I carefully dig or I look under, look under logs 
and you might find you might find different kinds of invertebrates you may find diplopods or insects or arachnids and now you know how to tell them apart yeah uh, you may even find one of my favorites are little pill bugs which are actually cousins to like crabs. They're kind of crustaceans, pretty cool. I have some of them sometimes too, but they live sometimes with the frogs and stuff so they can eat all the frog poop. <laughs> okay, let's see. Enough poop talk, find the millipedes. Let's see. If we can't find them, we'll just quickly move on and compare because they are, they are loving to hide. And I don't want to dig too much and completely mess up their habitat. Okay. I don't know. This may be too much of an effort. Careful, I'm digging. I've almost got him. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We'll get one more dig on this side. Oh, was that somebody? If I don't spot anybody, then that's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, here's one. Got one. Thank you for your patience. So this guy's all curled up. All curled up. But this is, if you can see, he's hanging onto little sticks. It's good. This is a bumblebee millipede. And I don't know if you can see his great colors, but he's got some yellows instead of kind of the white. There, that's a good shot. Some of the yellows and blacks. So this is a bumblebee millipede because he looks like a bumblebee with yellow and black stripes. There he is. And I'm glad he was easy to find because I like showing him. He's much smaller. Let's see if I can show you. See if he'll let me take the stick out. There we go. And he's all curled up. And I'll show you the difference in size. Here's the two ivories. And the little bumblebee in the back. I don't want him to slide off. Okay. Let's see. You know what? Since we had luck, let me do another, like, quick, quick, quick dig. Oh, the bumblebee's coming out. Is he? I don't know, I'll kind of hold him up on my hand because if he uncurls, I would love for you to see him. So, longer video, I know, I know. But, you know, it's fun kind of date. Oh, here's a scarlet. Burp, burp, burp. Okay, so keep the bumblebee on my hand. And then here's the scarlet. You see the red scarlet millipede? Whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't want it to fall off. You can see the red and the scarlet millipede. Let's see if I can use. Oh, and look, the bumblebee's uncurling. Let's see if the scarlet will uncurl. Eh, maybe not. There goes the bumblebee. And all those legs. Two antenna and an exoskeleton and two sets of legs on each body segment. Probably don't have to remember that either. Just know that when you see them, they'll have two little legs on this side of their body part and two little legs on that side of the body, but they have so many body parts and so many legs. I challenge you to try to count all of them one day. So I'm gonna put these two guys away because I'm also watching the time. And I don't want this to be a terribly, terribly long video. So everybody's back. Maybe we'll, we'll pull them back out again, but I wanted to compare for our last day of invertebrates. So I figured we saw diplopods with two antenna, exoskeleton, and two, uh, two, hmm, help me remember, two, two pairs of legs on each body segment, right? So two antenna, two sets of legs on each body segment, and an exoskeleton. Now, whew, we also had a little stinky in here from all their lettuce. We had these guys, do you remember? Our death fading beetles! And they were what? They were insects because they had six legs, two antenna, they had three body parts, they also had an exoskeleton, and sometimes wings! Oh, whoa, they're fast today. I don't know. Are they gonna play dead? There we go, got them playing dead. Slow them down. Play oh, nope, nope, not gonna happen. Insects! Six legs, three body parts, two antenna. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to end. Well, we'll bring them out and then we'll say goodbye to our diplopods who were the actual stars of the night with Palpatine. Are you ready? I can't not bring Palpy back out. Okay. Woo. Palpy. Where are you, buds? Hi, honey. Palpatine! 
Now, Palpatine is not a diplopod, right? Because they got one body part here and there's there's eight legs on that body part. So there's eight legs on that one body part. Yeah. And how many body parts? Two body parts. So arachnids like Palpy or Emperor Scorpion have eight legs, two body parts on those two pedipalps. And they also have an exoskeleton. And we're gonna show you this cool exoskeleton. Are you ready? Turns green. See my palpy. Let's see. Oh, oh disco palpy. No. No, palpy. Sorry. There is palpy. Oh, palpy's moving. I'm gonna turn this off so I can follow palpy. Here is my palpy. So we're gonna put palpy away and then we're gonna bring out our diplopods, our millipedes and say good thing no pet. I don't know, do you think you think palpy will stay still enough? I could like, cause palpy's so special. I feel like we should say goodnight to palpy again. Let's say, all right, palpy and diplopod. <laughs> I won't let him go together cause palpy would eat him. <laughs> so we can say, Good night, Palpatine Arachnid. Good night, Diplopod. Good night, Millipede. Yeah. Oh, he's moving all over the place. I am trying to eat my finger again. And Palpy's like, uh, I don't know. Palpy actually can't see. Palpy has terrible eyes. But cool pedipalps. And two legs per body segment. Okay, this is getting long. All right, everybody, good night. I love you all so much.